On This Day in Tudor History with me, Claire Ridgway, author of On This Day in Tudor History. Now, today I'm taking you back to the reign of King Henry VII, the first of those Tudor monarchs. Because on this day in Tudor history, the 1st of October, 1500, John Alcock, Bishop of Ely, died at Wisbeach Castle. Alcock wasn't just a bishop. He was a scholar, a royal tutor and an administrator. So let me tell you a bit more about this man. John Alcock was born in 1430 in Beverley, Yorkshire and was the son of William Alcock, who came from Hull. Alcock received a grammar school education at the school attached to Beverley Minster before going on to study at Cambridge University. He'd attained a doctorate in civil law by 1459 and worked in church administration in London. In the late 1460s, he was admitted to the prebends of Brownswood St Paul's and then North Alton in Salisbury Cathedral. In 1469 and 1470, he was a member of panels hearing debt cases. In April 1471, Alcock was in favour with King Edward IV, who just returned from exile to reclaim the throne, and he was appointed Dean of the Royal Free Chapel of St Stephen's in Westminster, and in the same month was appointed Keeper of the Rolls of Chancery. In 1471, Alcock was appointed as administrator of King Edward IV's eldest son, Prince Edward's lands and properties in Wales, Cornwall and Cheshire. The prince at the time was just a baby. Alcock was made Bishop of Rochester in 1472 and was responsible for keeping the Great Seal from September 1472 to June 1473. In 1473, Alcock was appointed as three-year-old Prince Edward's tutor and president of the Prince's Council at Ludlow. While King Edward IV was campaigning in France in 1475 with his Chancellor, the Bishop of Lincoln, Alcock served as Chancellor in England. In 1476, Alcock became Bishop of Worcester. In 1483, following Edward IV's death, and the accession of the boy king Edward V, Alcock's pupil, the new king's uncle, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, took the throne as King Richard III, claiming that Edward and his siblings were illegitimate. It's not known what Alcock thought of the events of 1483. In October 1485, following Henry Tudor's accession to the throne as Henry VII after the Battle of Bosworth, Alcock was appointed as Chancellor and he preached the sermon opening the King's first Parliament in November 1485. In March 1486, John Morton, Archbishop of Canterbury, was made Lord Chancellor following his return from exile, but Alcock still served as a trusted advisor and counsellor. In the summer of 1486, he was the leader of a delegation that negotiated a truce with Scotland and in September 1486, he christened Prince Arthur, eldest son of King Henry VII and Elizabeth of York, at Winchester. He was made Bishop of Ely the following month. As well as being a clergyman and royal administrator, Alcock was involved in endowments and building projects. For example, the founding of a chantry and school in the grounds of Holy Trinity Hull, where his father had been laid to rest the rebuilding of church at Little Malvern Priory and the building of a great hall at the Bishop's Palace in Ely, as well as a chantry chapel in the cathedral. Alcock was also a scholar and wrote a number of religious texts. Alcock died on this day in 1500 and was buried at Ely Cathedral in the beautiful chantry chapel that he'd had built. Also on this day in Tudor history, the 1st of October 1553, Queen Mary I was crowned at Westminster Abbey by Stephen Gardner, Bishop of Winchester. It was a moment of real triumph for Mary, and she was England's first official Queen Regnant. In last year's video, I shared details from primary sources about her coronation ceremony and also the sumptuous banquet afterwards, which saw the Duke of Norfolk and the Earl of Arundel on horseback in the hall and a challenge being made. What a spectacle it must have been. You can find out about that in last year's video, which I'll give you a link to. 
Thank you for joining me today. You can subscribe by clicking round about there. You can hit the bell to be notified as these videos go live and you can give me a like and leave me a comment. I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. Bye bye.